Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And coming back to the channel, it's been a very long time. Rammstein! Yes, indeed, Rammstein fans. Oh, can't wait to get into this one. We're going to be reacting to... Oh, it's a triple threat. We're going to do Rom 4, Rise of... Yeah, yeah, triple threat. Round four, Riza Riza, and Duri Shogut. Uh, Duri Shogut. Live at Hellfest 2016, Pro Shot, yada, yada, yada. Now, full disclosure, I have seen all of these performances before in different videos. I have seen the Rom 4 at Hellfest, but I have not seen the Riza Riza one or the Duri Shogut one yet. So, um, I've heard the songs before as well. I'm a very big Rammstein fan. Make no bones about that. Full transparency. But this request comes to us by uh, uh, Chinese characters. I've, I'm not even going to try to pronounce them. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll, we'll just say user ZX 7ZB2NM3Q. We'll just go with that. <laughs> Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. Any other requests or reactions you would like me to do, please look in the description box of this video for more information on how to do that. But no more going around. Let's check it out. All right, ghouls and ghosts. Rammstein, Rom 4, Rise of Rise, and Duri So Gut live at Hellfest 2016. Love this intro. I love that. Dieses Glück, das alte Leid, der Meister singt. 
Love this manic energy. Hallo, hallo, könnt ihr uns hören? We hear you, Till. Love the guitars at this part. Always a great performer, performance.
the lot. Coming through with that set. Love those light bars. I love that suit. Ziggy Stardust. Mm. Oh, got a flub. Motherfuckers. It's 
then he goes back to normal. I thought they might have like the flaming guitars. Okay. Man, just a lot of a lot of memories coming back, a lot of concerts. Fucking I've I miss going to Rammstein concerts. I'll talk more about that in review section. See you there. Alright, ghoul <coughs> ghouls and ghosts. I do apologize. That was Rammstein live at Hellfest 2016 with Ram4, Rise of Riza, and Duli So Gut. Link to that original video will be down in the description box. Favoring pleasure at your leisure. And again, this request comes to us by user ZX7ZB2NM3Q. I'm not going to try to pronounce anything Chinese because I don't know how to. I do apologize. But thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. Okay, um, I've done the uh, ROM4 Live at Hellfest before in a video, so I'm not going to really talk about that one. I told I have not seen Rise of Riza or uh, this particular rendition of uh, Duli Solgut, so I'm going to focus more on those two. 
Uh, let's start with Rise of Ryza, of course. Generally speaking, I, 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 I do enjoy Rise of Ryza, but it's like for me, it's like a middle of the pack song. It, I enjoyed it when it was first released off of the Rise of Ryza album, and especially with uh, uh, live at uh, Nymus in France. I think it is a great opener, but it. It's a, it's a slow burning song. You have to. It's more about the lyrics, in my personal opinion, about um, uh, a rise, a rise, coming up from the the ship, and all of that on the sea, and the spilling of the the guts of the fish and the harpoon, and all that fun stuff. I absolutely love those little light bars that would come down. They would they were behind Paul, Till, and Richard. Amazing. The lighting was amazing always. Um, it, it's definitely an, a yellow or orange song, in my personal opinion. It, it reminds me of... Because I've done all-night fishing before on the Gulf of Mexico. So when the sun comes up and it has that bright orange and yellow... So I, 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 I have that visual, especially with the, the fishing boats and traveling to different places and all that. Um, it definitely fits overall. Uh, I actually know how to play uh, that song on guitar. It's quite simple. The main riff is 101, 101-0, 101-0, 101-0, on the G string. Um it's been a while since I played it, but I, I used to know how to play it. Uh, so, um, great riffage as always from Rammstein. Great synth. I, I did like the more synth in the background. It's not necessarily like that in the album version or on the Nymus, Life Nymus version that I can remember. It's been a long time. Because I don't generally listen to Rise of Ryza, like at all. It, like I said, it's just middle of the pack for me. Um, great performance as always. Manic Till, always a pleasure. But there's just something just so phenomenally special about Du so Gut. You know, it's off the first album. They have so many bangers off of the first album. It's it's it's, it's incredible. And for me, like when I for my non Rammstein friends, and I like I'm introducing them to like the style. Of Rammstein, it, that's not necessarily one I pick first because you know most people oh Du Hast, Du Hast, but it's for me Du Rieselgut is the perfect example of Tanz metal, dance metal. We you go, it's just something infectious about going back and then forward and doing with the, you know you do the headbang forward, you go back and then you do it again and then dun, 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 with the guitars. It's just it's a it's a phenomenal track, phenomenal lighting with the green. Uh, they had it was a lot different as far as the the lighting was concerned. It was all over the place, which I really enjoyed. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the arm band uh, pyrotechnics. It's cool, and it makes it more technically difficult when they're doing the solo. And if you've ever tried the solo, I know I have. It's a very simple, uh, very difficult. It's a very simple. It's just not like it's not hard to learn, but it's hard to master because you have to hammer on and off. But when you hammer on, you also have to bend and let go. And it does an absolute number on your calluses of your fingers. So. I, I I prefer the more theatrical where they would do the um uh the lighting of the guitar on the uh on the headstock and the body of the guitar I and when they, they throw it to the um uh to the crew members I that, to me that's just just one of my favorite uh, of course you got the the, the uh sparkle uh bow classic do we so good? It, and what was what did till or that till Richard say? He said something, motherfuckers. And that, that caught me really off guard. 
And there's a, an occasional flub, fine, it's fine. It just proves that it's live. Live mistakes happen. You know, you have your recovery, you finish the song. What? Who cares? You know, I mean, it's not as big as the flub that he had in uh, uh, Stein am Stein, Live uh, Nymus. They completely cut most of that out. Ooh, that was, ooh, that was terrible. <laughs> But, you know, I would rather them, you know, you fuck up and then having like a track, you know, because it's being played live. You know, obviously you're going to have those kind of things now and again. And I know Rammstein does use backing tracks here and there. I know Till's vocals get constrained, especially when you're doing as many dates and concerts as he does. And as for as baritone he is, baritone as he is, I understand the, the necessity of the theatrics. You know, it's kind of a necessity for Rammstein at this point if they did it without theatrics and, you know, the constraints of certain venues as well. I understand why they do it. Like, Ish Tudor Ve is a perfect example of that, where he has to hit those high notes consistently. And especially when you're singing a lot of Rammstein songs, there's a lot of screaming and growling and low baritone vocals. So I understand why they do it, you know. For the, for the greater good of the show and for them to, you know, do that for that, for us, I, th I think it's something special, you know. You say what you will about, you know, like lip syncing or backing tracks or anything like that. They're there for a reason, you know. These are human beings here to entertain us. Not everything's going to be perfect all the time, you know. So I, I, I don't hold that stuff against Rammstein. A lot of fans do. I don't. But uh, scores individually, Riza Riza, I am going to give that four skulls out of five because, like I said, it's just a, a middle of a middle of the road song for me. It's a slow burn, has some great lighting, great stage presence. Uh, love the synths. Just nothing too spectacular, especially from the repertoire that Rammstein has. So that's why I got four skulls. Do this so good. I am going to give that 4.5 skulls out of five for the exact same reasons. It's just an absolute banger. One of the songs that will never be taken out of rotation. I don't believe they'll ever do that for obvious reasons. Get pyro up the ass. Great lighting. Great everything. Great stage presence. Entertaining as hell. Absolutely happy with that. With those scores. For all the reasons I just stated. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Up with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared. Ah! Ah!